Yo, yo, it's Malcolm Flex. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Flex! Round the mo, dive it deep up in the hooks, and we're gonna hanging at my house if we ain't sharing goals. Yeah, I've been broke before. All right, so we got my guy, Malcolm Flex, jumping yes, off the porch with us today. We here, baby. Yes, sir. Welcome, yes, sir. man. How you feeling, man? Feeling wonderful, bro. Yeah. Feeling great. Every day is great, man. No, nah, absolutely, man. Yes, Every sir. day, we, you know, we get to wake up and do what exactly. we love to do. Exactly. Definitely a blessing, mm -hmm. man. Not everybody does it, so. For sure. Nah. You can't be mad. Yeah, man. So welcome to Atlanta, man. What else are you working on here in the city during this trip for you, bro? I went to go, uh, I came out here to do a few little events with my boy Carlos or whatever. Okay. You know, he invited me out, so I figured, you know, I'd come out here, do that, and then, you know, do knock out two birds with one stone, you know what I'm saying? Come out here and hit the off the porch interview. Absolutely, Got man. To. Now, do you come out to Atlanta pretty often or not too much? Uh, recently, it's been like at least once a month. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to lie. My car is probably getting tired of it, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah. it, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, so. you know, I tell everyone, man, if you're doing this music shit, man, Atlanta is the place to be. Where, yeah, man. definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I'm um, working on trying to, you know, make Charleston like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm trying to build like in the hometown. So, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so talk to us about the uh, the music scene in Charleston, man. Because, um, like, we were talking off camera. I get a lot of artists from Charleston. Right, yeah, yeah, A lot yeah. of them are really dope, too, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Charleston's definitely slept on, you know what I'm saying? Because, like you were saying, Atlanta's the spot for, mm -hmm. you know, hip-hop and whatnot. Atlanta, you know, um, New York's up there and stuff like that. But, like, um, I think we're definitely growing. People are starting to push, like, real hard out there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's dope. We're throwing a lot of different shows. We're doing, like a lot of different types of rap and shit like that. So it's, mm. it's dope. Yeah, that's yeah. one thing I noticed too, is there's a lot of different vibes, different sounds right. coming out this And scene. like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I think what we're uh, missing is like, um, like finding a niche, a niche market. You know mm. what I'm saying? So like Charleston, like people love food in Charleston. Yeah. We got, it's like a big tourist spot. Oh, yeah. So we gotta advertise to the tourists too. Mm. So that's another thing that I'm thinking that I'm gonna try to capitalize on. So yeah. Nah, that's what's yeah. good, man. Yes, sir. So before you live, before you lived in Charleston, though, you you, uh, you were born in Montgomery, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I was born in Mobile, Alabama. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but I moved to um. Well, I didn't. I was probably like, I, I don't even remember how old I was when I moved to fucking Montgomery. I was young, but like, yeah, that's where I lived most of my life so okay. far. Uh, but I moved here when I was like fourteen, I believe. So it's been about okay. thirteen years. Yeah. Yeah. When I say here, I mean Charleston. I, I got you. Charleston, yeah. Yeah. So talk about your upbringing in Montgomery, then. What was that like for you? To be honest, that, like it was straight. I mean, I was a kid. I wasn't like really like paying attention too much to too much stuff like that. You know, I was just going to school, making. You know, school was easy. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a breeze. <laughs> and then um, I don't know if it was easy just because we stupid over there in Montgomery or what, <laughs> but it was easy. And then so like that's that's how that went. And like. I ain't really encounter any bullying like that, for real, for real, you know. I'm that dude, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for it. And like, it was just, it was cool. I had a lot of good friends, you know what I'm saying? All of them funny as hell. <laughs> we played a lot of outside sports, football, basketball, stuff like that. Yeah. Fun. So what brought you to Charleston? Was it just your family moving out there, or? Kinda, yeah. So like, um, my dad, he lived in Charleston for a while, and then okay. my older brother, he moved here for like high school. He moved to Charleston for high school, and so I was like, let me, let me come out there, you know, and switch it up. And I, I came here, and I was like, man, I don't want to leave, bro. Oh, for real? Charleston's a spot. Yeah, <laughs> for real, for real. Like, I think that's definitely where I want to live, hmm. to be honest. Yeah, I love it. How would you say the two cities compare or differ, then? Because one's yeah. right there on the beach, right, the other yeah. one's, you know, Alabama. So right, yeah. Sure Alabama does difference. got shit going on. At least from what I've experienced, there's like no money flow. There's like everything looks kind of bare. You know what I'm saying? Like everything looks like it's about to go out of business. Mm -hmm. It's like, Ugh, this ain't good. You know what I mean? Like, so, and I don't understand how, you know, people are still, you know, making a living there, to be honest. Yeah. You know, so like. That, that would be a great thing that I could do, you know, once I get the bag right, start funnel it into Montgomery, you know, okay. make that a tourist spot eventually, Absolutely. you know? Yeah. yeah. So what do you do after high school? Do you go to college or? I went to Trident Tech for like a, a month or something. A like month. That. <laughs> yeah, I was like, 
it wasn't it wasn't that I wasn't into it. It's just it wasn't the right time for me. You know what I mean? Like I was I wasn't in the right headspace. You know what I mean? I wasn't hustling like I should be. But you know, it comes with age. It comes with you know experience yeah. and things like that. So I learned. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Experience is a better teaching in school anyway. Oh, absolutely, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Were you going there for a trade or what, what were you going to I was study? trying to, um, I like psychology. Okay. So that's what I was trying to go to do. And then um, the teacher was like, we need this essay by then or whatever. And I, was, I hate essays. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't like writing essays, dude. I'll do anything else but essays, man. <laughs> so like, I was like, fuck it. <laughs> that was it. That's the breaking point. Like, I ain't right. writing this essay, man. <laughs> you want me to write an essay? Like, come on. <laughs> Let me talk to you. It's all, you know? Yeah. But it is what it is. I, I would that. I would go back if I if I had the chance, you know what I mean? Really? Like later on in life after I, like I say, after I get the money right, after I get my life set up, I'll definitely go back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's never too late to go back to school. No, though. definitely. That's for sure. Definitely. Like I love learning shit, you yeah. know. So yeah. What would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you've gone through in your life so far? a lot like <laughs> for instance like the one thing that kind of like changed my life a lot is when I um, realized that my biological dad isn't my dad hmm. or I said that backwards my dad isn't my biological dad so like um, the one that I moved to live with mm -hmm. um, I thought he was my dad my whole life you know what I mean and so like uh Whatever my mom told me about that, it just, you know, kind of switched me and his uh, relationship up. It switched mine and her relationship up. It switched oh, wow. my relationship up with girls, like all that, you know, because like I was probably like 16 or 18 when she told me. Oh, wow. and it was kind of like I was a teenager, all emotional and shit. So like, yeah, it, that, that definitely, you know, played a big part of my life. But I'm not going to that's something that I'll never take back. You know what I mean? Because I love who I am. Yeah. So, like, you know, if he was my dad, I wouldn't be the person that I am now, you know, so I'm, I'm not mad at it, you yeah. know, so there's that. And, like, recently, uh, trouble with, like, people trying to sue, fucking mm. jump, shit like that, it ain't, but, like, it is what it is. It, it comes with, you know, it, the, the bigger you get as a person, the better you get as a person, the more issues you're gonna face oh absolutely yeah and i had to realize that and i was like fuck it i'm just gonna keep going yeah, yeah. it's like whatever doesn't you know kill you it's exactly. just gonna make it stronger exactly. at the end of the day exactly. too exactly yeah. yep so. so when did you discover your love for music then a while ago like i was probably like i don't know probably like 12 or something like that mm -hmm. I, me and my brother so i got a story for you so me my brother and um my cousin his name is dante um he recently passed like two years ago but um, so we would go over to Dante's house, we would chill, you know, smoke a little bit, drink a little bit, and just turn on some beats and freestyle for like hours, like three hours straight, just freestyling. And like, I love to freestyle, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so we started doing that and I was like, damn, bro, we, we might as well start making music, you know what I mean? We might as well just start, you know, putting it on tracks, even if it's not like something that we release, mm -hmm. it, just to do it, you know what I mean? Like something to look back on. And, um, so we've been doing that for a minute, but I didn't start like actually recording and like putting music out and start chasing the dream until like three or four years ago. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? Let me let me do it. I got to. Huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so the first one you put out was that Stand Tall record, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you look back on that versus the things I do now, you can definitely see the growth, man. Yeah, like, everyone's got to start somewhere. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, it was uh, people loved it, though. Like yeah. I, I loved it at the time. But like now I'm like, man, my shit's so much different now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was still I was still young, you know, but, yeah. you know. So when you pop out with the song where like your friends and family, were they surprised that you're releasing the song? Yeah, or? they were because yeah. I didn't tell anybody about it. it right. Like I was going through like a bad breakup at the time and da 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 da. And I was like, you know, what, let me just fuck it. What do I got to lose? So I just started doing music, like putting it out there and um, showed all my friends and family. And it was like, this shit's fire. This uh -huh. shit's hard. Like, yeah, you got to keep doing this. So I was like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm sure that motivated you to keep yeah, that. Yeah, definitely, too, definitely, yeah, definitely. I get motivated from a lot of different shit, whether it's, you know, people saying like, oh, yeah, that's great, or people downplaying me. Mm. If somebody tries to play me like I'm not it, it's like, oh, let me show you. Let yeah. me show you something, you know, so. Would you say you started taking music serious right then and there after that first song, or did it take you a while to kind of lock in with it? Um, 
I would say I was still kind of like playing around with it a little bit. You know, I was just I was just making the music at that point. I wasn't really like trying to get out there like I, you know, need to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so like now I'm, I'm like way more focused. Like I, this is all I do to be honest. I do music stuff and hustle. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Gotta make that life happen. Absolutely, man. Yes, yeah, you need the funds to invest into this right. music yeah. shit, man. Exactly. That's for sure. Exactly. Yeah. So Malcolm Flex with the three mm -hmm. in there. Break that down. How'd you come up with All this? All right. Song? So with the three. So me, like I said, me, my cousin, and my brother, we would just sit in a circle and rap and, you know, do that for hours on end. And we, you know, came up with some funny stuff. Since it was three of us, it was like Flex Gang, but with a three. <laughs> da, 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 da. And so, like, because there's three of us. And then so I came up with the name Malcolm Flex. It was either me or my brother that came up with the name, and I was like, "Yeah, that's that's it," because you know, I, that's what I do. And then um, I started growing into my name. You know, it wasn't like a, a name that, like, the name chose me type deal. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I grew into my own type of entity. And uh, yeah, so we came up with the Flex Gang, and then um, we also got Faded Circle is where that came from because okay. we would sit in a circle, get faded, start huh. freestyling. And that's how this whole brand started. And it's almost like a, um, what is the word? Like memorabilia or something like that yeah. for my cousin. You know what I'm saying? Like gotcha. it's, um, yeah. Yeah, like a way to honor him. And right, everything. exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's what we do. Yeah, so what's the message behind Faded Circle then? Um, so the, the whole plan for Faded Circle is to build a community, like a strong community of people, like go-getters, people that want to make something for themselves and make, you know, a life for themselves without, like, um, government assistance, <laughs> to be honest. I'm trying yeah. to, like, get out of having to, you know, ask for, you know, uh, this and that. I want to be able to pay my own medical bills. I want to be able to pay my own, you know, issues with cars and things like that. And I want to be able to, you know, if I don't want to eat what they're supplying, I can grow my own type of food, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, complete independence is what it's about, you know yeah. what I mean? That's what I believe it's about. And, um, you know, a lot of other people will just look at it um, on an outside level as like a um, entertainment business or something mm -hmm. like that, which it is right now, but it's definitely going to grow into a, something way bigger. Okay. Yeah, that's the plan. And you do have the merch available, right? Right, yeah. The merch is available on FadedCircle.com. Check okay. it out. Definitely check that out. We got a whole lot of good stuff. Um, and recently, we're doing a, um, a collaboration. So, like, Faded Circle, even though it's, like, my company, I mm -hmm. haven't released any, like, Flex merch under Faded Circle. Gotcha. So, we're doing a collab where the Faded Circle, like, for instance, this, the E's going to be a three. Okay, there you Simple. go. Simple. Yeah. Change the color a little bit and... Boom. No, that's dope right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make it a limited edition. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When's I that can't. dropping? Oh, <laughs> probably, <laughs> to be honest, we are, we literally just put one on the website like last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But uh, I think I'm going to switch it to like, because it's a different style hat. I like this style hat though. Okay. Like the other one the is a snapback, which it makes sense because that's the first like hats we ever made. Like we had like flex merch back in the day and like it was a black snap back, like purple letters and said flex. Uh, so it makes sense, but I, I think I'm gonna do this hat because I like this hat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit stays on my head. <laughs> For real. Yeah, so speak on, you know, the grind that comes with being an independent artist in the game right now today. It doesn't stop. The grind <laughs> does not stop. It's like literally every day. If you wake up in the morning and you're like, man, fuck. I don't feel like doing this shit. You gotta get the fuck out. You gotta get out of bed. Cause like you, every minute counts for real, for real. You cannot just, you can't, there's no time to chill. Like, yeah. and whenever I go and, um, you know, I'll go do, go out of town or something for like a little small vacation, visit my brother, visit my family or something like that. I'll be like tripping in my head. I'll be like, damn, bro, it's been, it's been three days and I, I ain't do shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so like I'll be, it's, it's definitely something that you got, you can't, it's like an addiction. You gotta be addicted to it. You gotta be almost like delusional when it comes to, you know, being an entrepreneur in any type of way, whether it's music, um, food, whatever you wanna do. You know what I mean? You no, gotta absolutely. be wholehearted about it. Shit's 24 seven, man. Exactly, 24 yeah. seven. It comes down to the way you talk to people, the way you like, you know, dress. Shit, all that. Yep. So, yeah. 
and you don't you're usually the only employee too it's like you got to yeah, do everything exactly, you got to wear yep, all exactly. the hats with you got to lead by example too cuz like if you if you expect somebody else to do something they're going to be like but you ain't do it yeah. and it's like well I'm hiring you, bro. <laughs> but like, you know, I've know, I've learned, you know, sometimes you just gotta you gotta do it yourself and show them. It's like, yeah, I can I can do it, but I'd rather you do it because you're probably better, you're probably faster, you're probably, you know, and then I got free time to do other shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta so, be a jack of all trades. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I saw you got the opportunity to open up for Soldier Boy last yes, sir. night. Man. Yes, Talk sir. Talk about that experience. That shit was lit. I'm not gonna lie to you. That shit was crazy. And it was in like um, it was in Charleston. Okay. So like in the hometown, yeah, at the music forum. That shit was crazy. The crowd showed mad love. Hmm. Yeah, the ladies loved it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's how that went. It was crazy though. Like it was like I came out, everybody screaming. I'm like, damn, I <laughs> fuck with this. <laughs> I fuck with this heavy. So like yeah, that's that's um, that was definitely one of my favorite uh, shows that I did. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of them were really cool too, but that one, top of the list. Oh, I'm sure. And yeah. also, his crowd is so diverse too. Yeah. It's yeah. like you'll see some young guys in there. You'll mm -hmm. see some older cats in there too, yeah, and they yeah. all rocking out to this yep, shit. Yeah. They all cranking that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it was definitely fun, bro. Definitely. Yeah. And after I finished my set, I. When got a couple of drinks, and I started cranking that shit myself. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> like, While you're there, you got to exactly take advantage of this. Yeah. <laughs> shit was fun, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you also throw shows and parties in Charleston as well, right? Yes, sir. We actually got one coming up on the 25th of okay. October. Um, so, like, it's going to be a Halloween party. We got costumes and all that, costume contests, stuff oh, like nice. that. And so that's something that I've been trying to get into so I can not only, you know, put some money in my pocket, but, you know, help other artists mm -hmm. get out there and get exposed like that, too. So, yeah. yeah. No, that's dope, because it also yes, creates another platform for yourself, too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's really what it's about, just hustle. Yeah. Hustle, hustle. No, that's dope right yeah. there, though. All right, so you got the new single, Geronimo, man. Yes, sir. And talk about the inspiration. What was he going through when you recorded um, this song, man? So I heard the beat, and I was like, damn, this sounds like some, like, like mafia type shit, you know what I mean? And I was like, yeah. So like I, I started, I came up with the hook. I don't know how I came up with the hook. It just, sometimes I just start freestyling and that's how it goes. So I just started freestyling, came up with the hook. And then, you know, I was like, all right, I write all of my songs. So okay. if I release a song, it's written. It's not like, I don't go in the booth and just start freestyling. Cause some people can do it. I just can't do it like that. You know what I mean? Even though, like I said, I love freestyling, but like freestyling to me is different. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, it's way different. But yeah, so came up with the hook, started writing, hit the booth, and I was like, damn, it needs something else. So I hit my homeboy, Young Mattress, up. Shout out to Young Mattress. Um, he was like, he does singing. So I was like, yeah, you need to put some vocals on here. He don't, gotta, he don't have to do a verse. He don't got to do a hook. Just <laughs> background vocals and, you know, emphasize on certain stuff. Yeah. Know? So, yeah, it's fire. No, nah, it turned out really dope, too. Yeah, man. yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Appreciate that, for sure. So do you know right away, like, all right, this is a single. This is something I need to push out ASAP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, um, I actually held on to it for a little bit. Did you? Because, like, it was, like, um, it, was, it was sitting back, and I was like, damn, let me, I need to actually record this. And then I was like, yeah, I got to put Young Mattress on here because it don't sound, like, full. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Sometimes you need to fill in the space. So, yeah, yeah, it's dope. Did you shoot a video for it? No, not yet, not okay. yet. We got one plan though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go crazy on this one, man. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Like I said, mafia vibes, bro. Suits or oh, some yeah. shit, you know what I mean? Like that shit's gonna be lit, bro. Oh. Definitely. And I saw you previewed, uh, you about to drop a video called High Demand. Oh yeah, yeah. What can you tell yeah. us about that song? I'm a high demand type dude, bro. <laughs> so like, I was like, you know what? Um, the beat is made by my boy, Ben Beam. Shout out to Ben Beam. He's got some fire beats. There's a lot of people out there that got fire beats. But me and him, we were working on a um, tape together for a minute now. Okay. And that was one of my favorite songs off of the tape. I was like, yeah, I got to put a video together for this. And like, it's been like recorded in different locations. Hmm. Like most of my videos is like centralized. Yeah. This one, we started in Atlanta, recorded some in Charleston, and we might even go somewhere else. But yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's dope. It's gonna be crazy. Okay. That one's got slight, uh, slight mafia vibes to it too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you got a project on the way, right? Called Flex. Yeah, that's what I'm calling. It, just Flex. So like, I think I'm gonna do like, you know, volumes of that. So like Flex, 
the first one and then the next one flex two or something okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. 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 And the next one will probably be like flex three, just make mm. the three big. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, so what type of vibes should fans expect to hear on the first one? So the first one is like, um, if you know Ben Beam, you know, he's got like somewhat like a boom bat type style, like almost like, but it's not, it's not like old school, like, doom, doom, tss, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like it's, it's got like, he's got add-ins. He's got a lot of uh, samples on it too. So like, that's going to be crazy. I love, I love samples. Hmm. So yeah, it's going to be wild. Yeah. When do you think the project will be ready and ready to uh, release um, it? It's honestly, I'm just waiting on a hook from somebody and then Okay. Basically ready, yeah. I think I'm probably gonna release it like November. It's looking like okay, so real soon. Yeah, real soon. I've been doing. I've been working on it for a minute now, man. Mm. I gotta. I gotta push it out because people are like, yo, where's the new music? It's like, bro, chill. Dog. <laughs> There's still some old stuff you can listen to, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so gotta push it out for the people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any features you can reveal that gonna be on the project? Um. So most of it's solo. The only feature I got right now is the person that's doing the hook. Okay. Yeah, his name is Shaq, Shaq DeVille. Hmm. Yeah, he's got like a real deep voice and I was like, damn, I need to put somebody, hmm. I need somebody like that on the hook. So yeah, he's cool, cool dude. Met him at work where yep. I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get fired for? Being late, bro. Being I was late. on time today though. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta, I gotta straighten up, man. I gotta work on that. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. They give you any type of warning or anything? It was just like, you know. Oh, they gave me a lot of warnings. They gave me a lot of warnings. I was just like, I just couldn't do it, bro. Like, I don't know what it was. I was like, it just wasn't happening, bro. I think, you know, it was it was a calling type deal, you know. It's like, yep. you need to be somewhere else. So, that's how I took it, at least. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how often are you recording these days? Um, so, I tried. I have a goal. I First of all, I got to take out the I try because I... I don't like to use try anymore. I'm taking that out of my vocabulary. My goal is to do at least write and record one song a week at the very okay. least. Like, you know, so like since I, this, I don't have the privilege for this to be my only hustle yet. I, um, you know, work, do other things. And then, so it takes up a lot of my time. So whenever I do get the time to write and record, I made it like a goal, one song a week and if I can make one song a week, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's 50 songs at the end of the year. Exactly, so. yeah. Yep, that's like five tapes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, what's some goals you got set for your music career then, whether it's short term or long term? Uh, sh short term is to get these, um, start building these shows up bigger, you know what I mean? And um, I got... Uh, Fuck it, I'll just go ahead and say it. I got this other thing that I'm planning on doing for the Faded Circle. It's called um, Faded Circle Roundtable. Like, it's going to be not necessarily interviews, but more so like a podcast. We'll have okay. like artists come out. It'll be me and somebody else that uh, does the thing. And we'll just, you know, I'm going to play it, planning on making it kind of fancy. I'm probably going to have somebody cook. We're going to eat, oh, wow. you know, yeah, champagne and shit. It's going to be dope. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mafia vibes. Yeah, no, that's dope right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got the, um, so we got a color scheme for Faded Circle too. So hmm. we use two different kinds of reds. Um, and so like the, we got a red tablecloth. It's a round table, it's Faded Circle. Red tablecloth. We got the um, Faded Circle flags in the back. I should have brought some damn merch <laughs> other than the hat. But yeah, so Faded Circle flags in the back, all kinds of good stuff. It's going to be dope. And I'm going to have like a lot of, um, I'm planning on filling the room up also with like local um, artist things. So like we have people that do clothing. I'll probably hang up like a hoodie of theirs in the background and yeah. a photographer's photo, you know, things like that. Oh, that'd be dope. Kind yeah. of just like showcase all the different talents exactly. and everything yeah. too. Yep. So that's, that's the plan for that. Oh, that'd be big because I feel like Charleston needs some platforms like it that. It does. You know? It definitely does. Uh, it's definitely missing it and I'll be the person to do it. Fuck it. There you Fade go. Circle yeah, why wait everywhere. on anyone else to do it? You exactly. Know? Yep. Faded yeah. Circle's going to be everywhere, bro. It's going to be dope. Uh, what's some advice you would share to the youth coming up today? Uh, make your own decisions. Uh, do not be a sheep. Don't be the person that's just like, you know, oh, yeah, they're, this is what my mama said, even if you don't even believe your mama, or this is what these people are doing. Like, and, you know, the teachers don't know everything. <laughs> you know, so like you got to be able to make your own decisions, but that don't mean be stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like analyze. So that's my main thing. 
learn to think for yourself. No, absolutely. That's yeah. wise words right yeah, there. Definitely, yeah. definitely. A lot of people don't do that. No, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you go ahead and plug your social media so people know where to follow you? Yeah, at? man. Check me out on Instagram at Malcolm Flex. Uh, Flex is spelled with a three. So Malcolm underscore FL three X. And then if you check my Faded Circle page out, it's Faded Circle ENT. So at Faded Circle ENT. And really, that's about it. YouTube, Malcolm Flex, straight like that. Easy. Yeah. yeah. I don't really fuck with Facebook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And you got a shout outs you like to give before we wrap it up? Yeah, definitely, man. Shout out to my manager, uh, Curtis. Shout out to Carlos for helping me out. Shout out to um, my cameraman, Horoski, uh, Joey Lenz. Shout out to, um, shoot, definitely my family, the whole family. Um, Emma, she's been helping me out with a lot of the Faded Circle stuff. Uh, I feel like I'm missing somebody, but y'all know. Y'all know I got a lot of love for y'all. For real, for real. Definitely. Couldn't do it without y'all. That's how that goes. Run the mo, dive it deep up in this hole. Nigga, we ain't hanging at my house if we